the guy who's worn a lot of different hats in front of the camera. Yeah, that's built up a network of For nearly 50 years, years Geraldo yeah. Rivera has stayed in the spotlight. What happened that Look. night? A hard-hitting journalist in his early years, Geraldo During became a household war, name in 1986 when he unearthed Al Capone's secret vault on primetime TV, only to find it empty. As it turns out, we haven't found very much. The following year, Geraldo landed his own daytime talk show. It's the man, it's the myth, it's the Donald joined us. No topic too taboo. Geraldo had fat removed from his backside on live TV. And in 1998, an episode exposing neo-Nazis in America turned violent on the set. Geraldo was in the thick of it and continued the show despite being roughed up in the brawl. Well, the racist skinheads have been cleared out of the building. After 11 years, Geraldo hung up his daytime talk show hat to return to his first love, news reporting. And Geraldo Rivera joins us here in the studio. Geraldo, always good to see uh, you. Great good morning. To see you, Matt. I was watching your face as you were watching some of those <laughs> clips. What's it like to see some of those? It's a real trip down memory lane with me. You could see the different length of my hair as kind of an indicator of my mood. But it was very, very funny. It was, you know, I loved the talk show. It was innovative in its own way. It was very irreverent. It did some good stuff, and uh, it was burlesque. At times. Was was that the mission statement? Because when you were doing the talk show, it was a crowded field. There were a lot of other talk shows on the air at that point. Did you guys literally sit down and say, "How can we make this a little edgier than the others"? We definitely had more of an urban flavor, and we did a lot in the uh, inner cities, a lot with the uh, drug addicted people, a lot with domestic abusers. We kind of were Dr. Phil before Dr. Phil. We, we tried to do some good things, but we also did men in lace panties and the women who loved them, you know, so we did that, uh, that really irreverence. And you too. had fat extracted and from your buttocks. And we did that, uh, indeed, and interviewed uh, Donald Trump more than... Uh, more than once. I, I want to put a resume picture up, all right? I want to okay. show this cover of Newsweek magazine. This is from 1988. And when you see that image, what goes through your mind? I remember that that same year, I was also on the cover of Playgirl magazine in the <laughs> nude. So I, I, wanted, I challenge anyone, who else had that twofer in that same year? But I think that the show is better than its reputation, in the sense. I think that we are defined in part by Al Capone's vault on one side and the brawl with the Nazi, the neo-Nazis uh, and the skinheads on the other side. Yeah, the headline from that magazine was Trash TV from the lurid to the loud, anything goes. Um, when you saw that headline, when that magazine came out, did you take exception? Not particularly. I, I, I was really keen on exposing a growing hatred in the country, these neo-Nazi, uh, you know, uh, KKK, no one, they were always the bullies. So I came to work that day wearing my, uh, my work boots and I really had a uh, war on my mind. I, I went there and I, at one point I tell the guy, you know, you can't be a smart ass with me the way you are with others. Don't push me. And then the brawl broke out. And we, we stood up to them and we got a lot of good vibes. You know, the audience for the, uh, for the program, the daytime program, was largely an inner city audience. And people really, they, they appreciated that someone challenged the hate monger. We saw you interviewing Donald Trump. You just mentioned that. You've, you've known him for 40 years. 40 years. Is it odd for you to watch him walking on and off of Air Force One and see him in that podium yesterday as the president of the United States? I was shocked. You know, my, my wife and I, Erica, like many American families, we're divided over this. I love Donald Trump. I still feel that he doesn't have an ounce of racism or evil or hatred in his body. I lament, obviously, as I see him, and I was shocked to answer your question specifically, that he ever got elected. I did not think so. But I, I, this, this things he's done, like about Mexicans and, and Muslims and, and Megyn Kelly and others that I totally disapprove of. But on the other hand, we've all made a lot of money in the stock market since he's been elected. Right. So let me give you your talk show back for one second. And what would the first question you <laughs> asked him be as a friend, not as a journalist, as a friend? What would you ask him about what you've seen over the last almost month? Do you really believe... Is this really you that's speaking when you talk about the refugee ban? That's not the guy I knew. Are you, have you assumed a personality, an artifice, to appeal to the people that propelled you into office? What do you think his answer would be? 
Uh, this is me. Maybe you didn't know me as well as you thought you knew me. Uh, you know, maybe uh, like most people, I was more liberal as a young man and now more conservative as the president of the United States. But I really do believe I give him a B right now. A lot of people are giving him an F. Uh, you know, some of the people that watch my network, Fox News, give him an A plus plus. But I think that he's struggling to find his way. I, I am I'm delighted that he finally picked Alice Acosta, the first Latino. He had no Latinos on there. I would have appreciated a more diverse cabinet. But the guy I knew, I think, really has the potential of being a great president. I think that what we have to do is root for his success. Now, you know, he's always been very nice. There was a shot of my family with him. Right. He's so nice with my family and so loving. And I, I, I appreciate that. And in part, we feel the same about his family. And that, that definitely influences how I feel about him. And I, and I appreciate the personal side of that. Well, I, I appreciate you. You're one of the nicest people in the business. Oh, I appreciate No that. doubt about Thank it. Thank you. It's always great to uh, see you. You too, Matt. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.